Hi everyone, I have another Paracore bracelet today. This one is a three strand bracelet and this one is called the Brickwork Braid. And that's the other side. So watch through and let's see how it's done. This one will require two pieces of paracord, a shorter piece which is 80 centimeters or around about 32 inches and a longer piece which is 2 meters or around about 79 inches and that will make a bracelet around about 20 centimeters or 8 inches long and we want to start off by just taking our shorter piece and making sure that the end is nice and flat so I'm going just to melt the end and then press it just to flatten that end out. Next we will take our longer piece and just find the center of that and we are going to tie a simple slip knot and the way we will do that is just to form an overhand loop. Take one end, fold it over to form a bite and then tuck it up through that loop. And now before we tighten that up, we want to grab our other piece and then just tuck it up through that left hand gap there. Then we can tighten this whole thing down and then adjust this loop size so it's about one centimeter or so just by pulling on that right hand strand and as long as this knot is nice and tight then our left strand shouldn't pull through. So make sure this knot's nice and tight and adjust this loop size to about one centimeter. Once you have your loop sorted out the tying of the bracelet is pretty easy. We are going to take our shorter strand here on the left and just fold it across the two center strands and then I'm going to take this left hand strand here around and down through that loop and then I will take this right hand strand around and down through the center. Just tuck it through the center and pull it through. And then we can just proceed to tighten that up. Then our shorter piece will be here on the right. I want to take that over the core strands. I'll take this right hand strand around and down through the loop. And then I'm going to take that left hand strand around and down through the center. And again we can tighten that up. And then we just need to repeat that process all the way down. So I'll do another couple. We will take that left strand over the two center strands. Take this left hand strand around and down through that loop.
and then we are going to take this right strand around and down through the center. So then we can tighten this one up. Then take this across the two center strands again. The right strand around and down through the loop. left strand around and down through the center. So again tighten that up and we just need to repeat that process all the way down until we get the bracelet we like and on this side it just looks like wraps but on the other side you'll find that the brickwork pattern is starting to develop. So once we get down to the end I'm going to lock this off with a couple of half hitches so again I'm going to start with this shorter strand here on the left I'm going to take it over both of the center ones around the back and then up through its own loop and just tighten that down and then to completely lock it off I'm just going to tie one more so over the two center strands around the back and then up through its own loop So tighten that all the way down and then you can cut and singe this excess piece off. So now all that's left to do here is tie a button and the way I'm going to do that is just to take this right hand strand underneath both of those core strands forming a loop here on the right and I'm going to form another loop on the left by taking that strand above the core strands. Going to take this right strand up through the right loop and then the left strand down through the left loop. And to tighten it, we just need to pull these two strands directly outwards. So now we just need to cut and cinch these excess pieces off here, and we are finished. So here it is with the button cleaned up and you just need to flip it over to reveal the brickwork pattern. And there it is. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. I like you all and I'll see you on the next video.